So as that red guy starts swimming across the screen, I want to ask you this. What if Ravenfield was more like Call of Duty than you thought? And you'll be asking yourself, hey Baron, well, how is it going to be like Call of Duty? Well, take a look at this weaponry real quick. We're going to show it all off. Now I'm going to choose this side here, and I think there's a cutscene for both sides. Oh, did I say cutscene? Yes, I did. If you were to play a mission in Call of Duty or Battlefield or any one of those games, when you're starting a mission, you're gonna see a cutscene. This is a cutscene. I have it on slow motion. Look at this. Use the mouse to look around. Look at these gunships that are supporting us right now. Are those like Comanches or... I don't think they're Apaches. Maybe they're European. I don't know. We've got some missile frigates. And wouldn't it be really cool if these missile frigates actually fired missiles? Well, you asked for it and Vobcheg delivered. Vobcheg is the map maker. And by the way, I think this is the best map. I've ever seen in Ravenfield. Well, how about some incoming anti-aircraft fire? Oh! You mean like that missile that just flew up and- Oh my god! My brother was in that helicopter! Just kidding. And look at this. We have this airstrike. We have some music greeting us. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome to Ravenfield Call of Duty, baby. Now, I believe the other faction also has a cutscene. So we're gonna check that out after discovering this map, which is called Do Riviera or Do Riviera, but I like to think of it as Do Riviera. Hey, do the Riviera, do the do, or you know, something like that. Anyway, but take a look at our weaponry. You'd have some modernized, really cool looking stuff if it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Which is the which is the the new one out right now. Do they do one every year? We have some reinforcing plans because I'm uh, planes because I'm on that game mode. Look at this. He Let's see, he's kind of moving. Hey, someone shot me! I got one of them. I hit one of them. But I love this. You can't really do slow motion. <laughs> Accuracy says what? Now, I'm not too familiar with the skins right now, but look at this weaponry. Now, there's also destructible physics, and I think they're kind of limited in scope. We've taken this flag point, so I'm gonna go reconnoiter over here. Looks like we got some medical tents, and oh my god! Some hot rod cars. I've also got a silence pistol. Oh my god, I love the sound of that. And then I got a deagle. Gotta love the sound of that, man. If you ever played Counter-Strike. Well, I don't think this is, uh, destructible. Took out two of them. Who's the dude on the motorcycle? Ducati 750 GT. Sup? Well, this is what? <laughs> There's some... The cars feel a little out of place. But honestly, oh, this is what I'm talking about. The destructible physics. Now, I need something explosive, don't I? All right, well, to do that, we need some anti-armor. Whoa! Who called in the freaking Air Force? What was that all about? That is so weird. All right, combat reload. We got to take this flag point. We are PTFO. We're playing the freaking objective here, boys. Oh, my freaking God! Who called in the airstrike? Oh! That was gorgeous. So three, they looked Russian to me. I'm not sure though. I'm not certain rather. You hear that? What is that? Oh, freaking F-22 Raptors. Oh, is that a surface air missile right there? Guys. Okay. And those are definitely Russian aircraft. Oh, those are air to air missiles. I think we've got a dogfight in the air. Oh, that F-22 just exploded. This is so cinematic. All right. I gotta find these destructible physics. Okay, this wall right here, I'm gonna bet this wall breaks. <laughs> now, destructible physics are somewhat limited in Ravenfield, but who's to say there won't be like a Ravenfield 2 or taking small arms fire from across the way? Don't worry, I got my voice. Oh, protecting me here. I love this gun. It's playing whack-a-mole and I'm not winning. I got a silenced MP5. I switched up my weaponry. I got to watch the intro again. It was gorgeous. Suppressing fire, dude. I feel like if you, you could go on like secret missions or like, you know, kind of like go as like Delta Force, Navy SEALs, special operations type stuff. Dropping these fools. Basically just mag dumping on them. <laughs> oh my God. This makes me wish it was multiplayer or at least like co-op. I love being able to like switch it to slow-mo, which is something that you can appreciate in single player naturally in multiplayer. I don't know if any other game has ever tried to tackle slow motion in multiplayer. The duplex drive. 
There's a there's a bot running around with an M1 Garand out there. I love it. Okay, so let's see. Look at this, man. All right, we're gonna find. Wait a minute. You think this crane can fall over? Hmm. Now there's also rumor about a nuclear missile silo that can be fired and I think destroy that carrier fleet out there. Oh, please don't drop any ordnance on me. I don't see any bombs in the air. But when the Air Force flies overhead, it just feels so thematic, so scenic. Look at that destructible physics. All right, let's get on top of this building for a better vantage point. We're gonna have to be a little bit careful because that means we're also gonna be able to get shot at. Don't worry about the defeat, man. He doesn't know nothing. You're not my real dad. Oh, shoot. The airstrike just happened. The first one at least flew over us. So, comes in and drops that heavy ordnance surf air to surface missiles? I guess there's bombs, I guess is what... Yeah, those are definitely more like bombs, right? Oh my god, where... And when you look at my weaponry, you know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare would have modern weaponry. Hold on, I hear the airstrikes again. Oh my god. It's the dueling part, where the F-22s versus, like... I don't know what those are called, but those are definitely Russian. Oh my god. The guy's wing just got taken off. I'm pretty certain that's what happened. He's flying over. Obviously, we put this into slow-mo to see what's going on here. <laughs> Where's he gonna land? He's just going straight into the water! I see pieces of buildings flying off. Now, I'm gonna make it my mission to try to shoot down this crane. The enemy, however, is really hitting us hard. All right, boys, we gotta, like, carpe the objectives here, man. I see parachutes. Oh, man, I'm operating Overwatch right now, and the guys are moving across the field laterally so quickly. Someone just dropped a smoke grenade. I'm not gonna be able to see anything. I get to the top of this roof, boys. This is a very tall building. Oh, my God, look at that. You can see everything. There's this guy shooting at me from over there. Man, there's more. Gotta love this gun. Now, aside from those sports cars over there, I'm not really seeing any heavy weaponry like tanks or anything like that. Alright, I'm gonna fire my last rocket, not at this crane, but at their spawn over there. Oh my god, man. Fish in a barrel right here. I found the magic spot. But, I'm not sure if this map is necessarily balanced. We kind of all came in off the helicopter, so maybe it's our, like, prerogative here to try to, like, take more objectives. But as I'm surveying the battlefield, it's pretty impressive. Now, apparently, like I teased earlier, there's that, like, amphibious craft we flew in off of. And then there's a bunch of missile cruisers. I think, actually, instead of a full aircraft carrier, we were just off of the back of one of these missile cruisers. Um... But I wonder if there's an introduction for the other team. Hold on. Wow, reach out and touch somebody. He got me with the op, man. It's amazing though, look at this. He's working on a loading screen and Vovcheg like made an intro sequence. The first intro sequence we've ever seen. All right, I'm gonna swip up, switch up my weaponry here. I'm gonna try for this marksman, that looks pretty cool. And then here are my weapons that I can have. I can go for stealth, PW handguns. I'm gonna go with the UMP 45. We're gonna deploy at the main objective. For us, let's see, do we have our own unique? Oh, Vovcheg. Project World War Three. Oh, I'm in. I'm in a transport helicopter. Oh my god, we got some what? Oh, look, those are the cruisers. There's some, I guess, any aircraft rounds maybe exploding? We're, what, high altitude, low opening, halo jumping into the objective here. Okay. There's some Air Force flying overhead, so it's like... Oh my god, in the entering level music, like... The map can be improved, but what we're seeing right now has never been done in Ravenfield. I love what Vovcheg and Fifth Smell have been doing for Ravenfield. Oh my god. So, is that a body? That's a body flying up in the air, I think. You gotta love the physics. That's a few bodies. Okay, so Raven captured the spawn, so... Do Riviera. Do the do. We got some medical tents out here, then we gotta go in. So... Apparently there's a nuke. And it said, look in the strange house. Do you see a strange house anywhere? We're gonna need to go exploring. What you say about this, Tavarish? <laughs> I say this is one of the best maps I've ever seen, as far as the atmosphere is concerned. We've got intro sequences, we've got destructible physics. 
and I do love destructible physics. Who doesn't, man? It makes it feel more like real life and less like a game. Okay. Oh, never mind. There's a the door. I was like, I don't want to have to use another rocket if I don't need to. We got some, what, kind of drainage trench that we can actually move around in? My guys are green. Look at this camo. Yo, nice weapon. We got gas masks. Oh, we're definitely Russians. You see that? Totally Russians. The Tavarish. What do you think of that, Tavarish? Alright, funny looking house. I mean, these are really... This one you can go in. There's a red button. There's a barracks tent on the ground. Alright, switch to CQB weaponry. I mean, you never know. Can't get to the top. Thump? Could be a little louder. These are some weapons from, like, a different mod pack. Hey, sandbags are flying up in the air. <laughs> Pull! <laughs> this guy. I, I, can someone tell me how many cartwheels he did? Oh my god. Alright, so this medical tent, I don't think this is where the nuclear device would be. Yeah, I'm just kind of running out here. Oh, here come the Air Force again. I'm gonna get into cover so I can see this. Are, do those look like F-16s to you? They're definitely American. They just, they fly overhead. I don't think they dropped any bombs. There's no scripting either where things would explode. You can see all of the, what, NATO forces or American forces over here trying to hit this guy on the move. And of course the victory comes right as the Russian Air Force comes in and lays down the hammer. Oh, explosive ordnance, baby. That, that almost looked like it may have been friendly fire. Jeez, those were on Russian positions. Were those Russian? What are you doing here? Modders. <laughs> oh, Dre. It's always Dre. This is the sound of incoming aircraft. This is where the low-flying Russians go up against the F-22s. They have their battle in the sky. Do any of the F-22s get wrecked? Yeah, one does and explodes brilliantly in the air. A Russian one flies and just gets wrecked. So all these planes, their movement... Whoa. This is a funny... Inscription makes no sense. English. What if this is the weird house? Alright, so as I was falling down in my parachute, I noticed a house that wasn't with any of the other ones. So, you think you go way over here, right? But there's actually this house through the trees. So I believe... If you go through this puppy... Yeah, this house does look a little weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see if we can read that. No image. <laughs> We're gonna go around the outside. There's no way on top of it or in it. Raven captured the spawn, of course. They're gonna need that. Oh, that. Oh, I thought that shadow was like uh, showing a seam. Okay, so I believe if we go in this house, the nuke gets launched. Let's see. Oh, hold on. There's the red button. Who's that guy? Oh, the Russian guy got taken out. What does that no image mean? Launch the rockets. Yeah, let's do it. We'll take a nap, then fire the missiles. Okay, we've, uh, pressed the red button. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, do you hear that? That's an air raid siren. The Air Force is coming in here. I've got to get a good vantage point of the fleet. I don't... Oh, shoot. No! I fell on a... Dang it. We launched the missiles after taking our naps because that is just proper protocol. First of all, everyone knows that. At least if you're an old man on the internet. All right. So we got a limited amount of time, I think, till the ICBM fires. So I'm gonna take this a Ford GT and we're gonna dodge this moat. Sounds like aliens are invading, man. Okay, there we go. That, that's a better siren. All right, Air Force is coming. The F-16s first. Now, if the ship's are over there, then it, it, it stands to reason that the nuke is gonna come from elsewhere. All right, let's get to where the sandbags are a little bit higher. Oh, shoot. Incoming ground attack. I forgot about this part. Please don't bomb me. Oh my god, that was amazing though. Dude, these ships aren't gonna know what hit them. I mean, they definitely will because they got radars that are gonna be like, Hey! Oh, uh-oh. I thought... Yeah. I think we found the nuke. Now, the worst thing that could happen right now... Oh my god, and, and the aerial dogfight's gonna happen? <gasps> you! Alright, the airstrike is coming and there is the ICBM behind this just gorgeous explosion. There's it in slow motion. Yeah, definitely. Oh my God. All right, regular motion. 
There's the fleet. Oh! Oh my god, this reminds me of the last scene. Oh! Snap! I got the radioactive viruses! Oh my god, those planes just flew past in the nick of time. So that definitely would have sank the fleet. Ladies and gentlemen, this has to be the most epic map I have ever seen in Ravenfield when you consider the atmosphere, the cutscenes, everything. It was made by Vovcheg, and I cannot wait to see more maps that are done in this same style. Now we just need the ships to sink. Now we're naturally waiting for Conquest to be updated a little bit more. We still don't have the terminal for technologies, but I'd say overall, I'm liking this. It's kind of like this risk style automation, you know, it feels like you're playing a strategic board game at times. And then you end the turn and we obviously want to get to one of these because this is where the troop centers are located. So it's a three or two here. I can't wait for the tech. Oh my god, I actually got beat. Because there's gold and there's infantry, but right now you can't use the gold or the science. It almost reminds me of early days of Home Wars. By the way, do we need to get back to playing some Home Wars? So we gotta wait for Conquest, but I'm glad that we still have some pretty talented map makers in the Ravenfield modding community. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Ravenfield. I'm glad that I gotta bring you this one. I think it's one of the best maps ever. It has nukes, it has carriers, it has cutscenes. It's got all the bells and whistles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.